On the western coast of Africa, just south of Sierra Leone, is Liberia, a country whose infrastructure was ravaged by nearly two decades of a civil war that ended in 2005. According to a World Bank energy report, access to power is virtually zero across the entire country. Liberia has one of the lowest rates of access to electricity in the world. In northwestern Liberia, just south of the Sierra Leone border, lies the small village of Yondohon. A hydroelectric power plant in Yondohon was destroyed in 1994 by the Civil War. The plant was rehabilitated and upgraded in 2011 by the World Bank and Liberia's Rural and Renewable Energy Agency, or RREA, thus restoring clean energy to three remote communities. Through the USAID program Vocational Training and Education for Clean Energy, or VOCTEC, Green Empowerment, in coordination with Arizona State University, Winrock International, and the RREA, developed a program to train local residents to maintain and operate the system, while at the same time building a network of Liberian stakeholders for constructing and sustaining future hydroelectricity infrastructure. Liberia, just from this uh, post-war crisis, we have a shortage of utilities, especially electricity. We are fortunate in this country, and especially in, in our immediate locality, locale to have a lot of water resource. We didn't know it's so simple as a little stream can produce some electricity to upgrade the lives, you know, the economics of a town, a village, the lives of the people. And, you know, little by little, one village at a time can move the country much faster. The Yonahon turbine has a capacity of 60 kilowatts, which is enough power to serve the needs of homes, businesses, and social services in three communities. Today, the electricity is mainly used to provide light in the homes, power for the school, and streetlights for safety. In the coming year, there are plans to utilize the energy for economic development and social services, including a welding shop, a bakery, a health clinic, water pumping, and agricultural processing. Through lectures and hands-on exercises, the 10-day training covered practical knowledge around the operation and maintenance of micro-hydroelectricity systems. 20 Liberians attended the training. They were technicians from Yondohong, instructors from universities and technical schools, and representatives from the government and energy sector. All participants are or will be involved in the development of hydroelectricity in Liberia. Renewable energy now is becoming a better thing than the thermal systems that we've been using with gas and fuel where it was non-renewable and now we have seen the consequences to the global community. So for us, after the war, it's like a, a new start, an opportunity for us to do it right the first time this time around. We're learning a lot of things about micro-hydro systems. Particularly, we have the practical example of one right here that has been recently installed to the uh, Renewable Energy uh, Agency for the Liberian government. To see that we can get this kind of system in such a faraway place is also very inspiring for all of us. We are concerned about how we can build up our capacity to be able to train the future uh, leaders, the maintenance technology people, the future engineers into all of these types of systems. Before the war, we used to do business, do things. Our husband used to get money to sponsor the children in school. But since the war, this house was down to zero. We want to do business, but no chances is for our husbands to help us. But I think you people can get a chance to help on and we can push our husband and our children forward. We are say thanks to RREA because they the one that brought the project and the project has been completed. We have a light here. Out from the training, I learned a lot. Uh, I see and I learned the principle of a turbine uh, and uh, the transmission lines from the starting from the intake. I have a vast knowledge on it. If Liberians get this identical knowledge, we ourselves can be able to maintain the system within our country. Uh, these are instructors who have wisdom in the whole uh, 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 hydropower system, how it operates from the construction level up to the operation level, including hooking up on a grid. They have a very vast knowledge and I learned a lot from them. So I just want to thank uh, USAID and other partners for this great opportunity that I am part of. Over the course of 10 days of training, the 20 participants engaged in various hands-on exercises that substantially increased their capacity to operate and maintain 
any small-scale hydroelectric system. But the course in Liberia is only the beginning. There is interest in additional training and forming skill centers at universities and vocational schools that will help bring light to a country without power.